Vancouver Whitecaps FC select number 42 from Akron University, David Egbo. David Egbo out of Akron. There you go, Doyle. I'm going to count that as a hit for you, man. He's got uh, 21 goals in three seasons for the Zips. Charlie, striker to striker. Give me a little evaluation here. Yes, he, he's a great finisher. Good on the ball. The only concern for him was can he defend? Can he start the press? But attacking as an attacking, pure attacking striker, probably the most talented finisher in, in the draft. So for Vancouver Whitecaps, now whether you're playing in a two-tracker system with Cavallini, this is a good partner. This is a, this is a player who's going to make a difference if he's given the confidence and the time to adjust to Major League Soccer. Well, you said that the Cat Whitecaps liked this player, and they proved mm-hmm. that true. What did they like about him, and why is he the right pick for them? Uh, he's smart in the box. He, he, you know, you saw a bunch of his goals from outside the box, but it's really he, he's very clever about finding spots inside the box and that not just the six yard box, but that sort of second six yard box um, and, and working off the ball. So I, I think that, you know, they see a guy who will be able to put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, we know that Lucas Cavallini is going to have a very busy year for Canada um, and Egbo might get some minutes as his backup. Uh, if they only go with a four two, or if they only go with one striker and a four two three one, or they could go with a four four two. Though that would be a throwback. If you have Cavallini and Egbo up top, it would be like an old 1980s style English team with two pretty big center forwards. Um, but it does give them a little bit of flexibility, and he's proved in his college career he's a he's a very quality player.